number 13. What's the exact value of this? Well, here you've got the exact values for these given angles, the 30s, 60s and 45s. This first one, that's the sine of 60. Now, the sine of 30 is a half because the sine of 60 comes after it. So that's root 3 upon 2. That was straightforward. But this is no use because that's not an acute angle. So you'll have to find what the equivalent acute angle is to 5 pi upon 4. For that, you're going to use the cast diagram, all sine, tan, cos. 5 pi upon 4, that's beyond pi. Pi would be 4 pi upon 4, so this takes you here. It's another quarter of pi beyond. So cos 5 pi upon 4 is equivalent to cos pi upon 4, but it's negative if it ventures into this quadrant. So it's negative cos pi upon 4. So that's root 3 upon 2 plus, and cos pi upon 4, the sine and the cosine are the same for 45, they're both 1 over root 2. So it's root 3 upon 2 plus 1 upon root 2, which is answer B. In number 14, two vectors, perpendicular, scalar product is 0. If they're perpendicular, if u is perpendicular to v, it means u dot v equals 0. Scalar product, multiply the corresponding components and add them up. 1 times negative 6, negative 6. 2 times k, 2k. 5 times k, 5k. That should equal 0. That comes to 7k. Bring the negative 6 over as a 6. Then divide by the 7. k should be 6 over 7, which is answer D. Well, question 15 says, what's the equation of this curve? Well, there's two ways you could do it. You could do it starting off with the information and getting the equation, or you could try the points and see which points fit these. Well, one thing you know for certain though is the equation must look like it's got a root at negative 1 so it must have a factor that goes x plus 1 it's got a double, there's a tangent point there at 2 so it must go x minus 2 squared that might eliminate some of them but there's two that I've got that so far so I'll have to figure out what that k is again you could do it two ways you could try this point 0, negative 8 if you put nothing in for x which of them gives you negative 8 as the answer? Well, it's probably just the same, just saying, well, if I put 0 in for x, that bracket will come to 1, that bracket will come to negative 2, squaring will be 4, so 4k is equal to negative 8, so k must be negative 8 over 4, so k is negative 2. So it's the one with negative 2 in it, negative 2, x plus 1, and x minus 2 squared, which is b. Number 16, the unit vectors A and B, unit vectors, length 1. So this length of A is 1 and the length of B is 1 are such that A dot B is 2 thirds. What's the value of this? Well, that will be A dot A plus, now that scalar that's multiplying can come to the front of the calculation, 2A dot B. Well, A dot A, since it's the same vector times itself, will just be its length times itself. That will be 1 squared. And A dot B, you're told, is 2 thirds. So you've got 1 and 4 thirds. 3 ones are 3, and 4 makes 7 upon 3 altogether. So the answer will be 7 upon 3, which is C.